What's going on, people? It's your boy Game Twenty Seven. I'm back again with another video. And today, people, I just want to talk about Capcom. Um, if you hadn't heard, Resident Evil Revelations One and Two has been announced for the Nintendo Switch today. We are new about the Xbox One, the PS4 version. It's going to release August 29th, and that's basically um, about another month from now. We are already in the first day of August, basically the last couple of days of this month. So basically, I was thinking about okay, hmm, okay, so. Uh, Nintendo Switch is getting a port of Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2 coming out basically not alongside with the PS4 in the Xbox One version that's August 29th and I got to thinking okay is there something else that's coming out August 29th oh the Mario and Rabbits game whatever the Kingdom Battle game whatever that name of that game is a Mario game okay so basically what Capcom is doing people I said a long time ago they're not trying to release their games, I repeat, their games alongside with Nintendo's games on the same day because all it's going to do is going to be suicide. It's going to basically be dead on arrival. Just look at the fact that Ultra Street Fighter 2, The Final Challengers, uh, a $40 game, a <laughs> $40 game, a very expensive game that basically launched over 20 years ago and it charged $40 for this game. And it's so, so very well. So over, what, 450,000 copies in a two-month span. It's almost a half a million in a two-month span. It came out in the month of May in which Minecraft had launched and uh, Disguise of Five. So it's a niche title of that launch. You know, so basically, the game that stands out in the crowd is Street Fighter. Yes, we know Minecraft is very popular, but it's a very casualized game. You can play Minecraft on whatever device you want to play. So basically, like I said, for the hardcore gamers, the most hardcore game that came out in the month of May was Street Fighter 2 uh, for the Switch. And that's why you got the results that you got right now. And it, and it sold very well, even though it had mediocre reviews. Uh, I think the reason why the game got so uh, got low scores is because the pricing of that game, a lot of people did not like it. And of course, the Hadouken mode was very pointless. I don't know why they did that shit. But, you know, to be fair, I think it was the pricing of that game that got, you know, low scores for the game. Besides that, a lot of people is enjoying the game. And I'm thinking about getting the game myself. Uh, but yeah, just look at the fact that whenever you launch your third party games away from Nintendo games, it could sell a lot better, and this is what Capcom is doing. That's what I think, that's why I believe that that's what they're doing with the Resident Evil 1 and 2 uh, combo pack launching the same day with Mario um, and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, whatever you call that thing. Um, that, that's what I'm thinking. It might be maybe a mid-September release, uh, possibly October, but then again, Mar Super Mario Odyssey comes out October 27th, and they'll be done to release that game right next to it. So I'm saying it might come out between the next, uh, I say between one to two, maybe three weeks after after uh, the game launches on the Xbox One and the PS4. That's just my thoughts about that. But like I said, people, I said this a long time ago. In order for Nintendo games, uh, what third-party games to do very well on Nintendo consoles, third parties, you know, first of all, got to be equal with the content, and second of all, don't release your games right by Nintendo games because we already know that Nintendo has a cult following that buys everything that has Nintendo on it and that's why I said a while ago maybe Nintendo need to take some notes of Sony and release a lot of their exclusives during the uh, the first of the year all the way to the summertime but when it comes to the fall time that's when Call of Duty's comes out and Battlefields NBA 2Ks, you got the FIFA, you got the Assassin's Creed, you got all these heavy hitter games, third party games coming out in the fall, you know, in the winter time. You know, you, you got you gotta you gotta you know have some breathing room for these developers to can get their profit back. So let's just see what 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 will happen in the future. Will there be more third party games that's going to launch a lot of their games uh, away from Nintendo's titles? I, I just think that's the smartest thing to do. So even though some people might be salty that, you know, uh, the Switch version of Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2 is not going to release alongside with the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 version, I think it's more of a business move because third parties, let's just be honest, we know how Nintendo folks is. Like, you got, you know, you got a, a new Zelda game and you got a Call of Duty game on a Nintendo console. We know what's going to sell. We know what people are going to ignore. 
it just it is what it is. So, like I said, people, y'all just give me your thoughts and your opinions on how how y'all feel about this situation. Do y'all think it's smart for Capcom to wait maybe a couple of weeks, you know, so they can so the Nintendo uh, fans can you know hurry up and beat the Mario and Rabbits game so they could get their hands on the Resident Evil Revelations? I, I think that's what their strategy is. But if y'all got a different opinions y'all just let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below like comment subscribe to my channel and follow me on twitter and once again it's your boy game 27 yeah have a good day peace out